name is Amanda and we are here at the beautiful Maui Tropical Plantation, over 1,500 acres of farmland. One of the CEOs of Sea Brewer Company, Doc Byers, who we have a statue of here on property, he had the foresight to showcase all of these amazing crops, one of them being pineapple. Popularity and demand was growing and everyone wanted to know how do you grow a pineapple and what does it really taste like when it's fresh. So they started a tram tour. You can book a ticket on our Tropical Express. It's a quick 45 minute tour that takes you around parts of the property showcasing macadamia nuts, mangoes, coconuts, and pineapple. The way that we go about planting a pineapple field here at Maui Tropical Plantation is to use the tops of the pineapple. So we take the tops of the pineapple, this small part right here, and that's what's gonna get buried into the ground by hand. Later, a fruit grows out of that and those are harvested by hand. That entire process takes about 18 to 20 months. Then we will plant the tops of the pineapple again, and the next time it's a little quicker, we get to see our fruit in about 13 to 15 months. So of course, where do you get the tops from to plant the pineapple? Kumu Farms, who manages this field here at Maui Tropical Plantation for us, has a really cool way of doing it. They actually collect all of the tops from the pineapples at all the major resorts on Maui, and they use that to replant the pineapple fields here. The pineapples go through three life cycles, and it's kind of one of those Benjamin Button things where the older they get, they actually get smaller, but they also get sweeter and juicier. They call these sugar babies, and that's something you can often find at the Kumu Farm stand at Maui Tropical Plantation. Pineapples arrived in Hawaii in 1527, and the residents here called it halakihiki, or foreign fruit. The popularity and demand for this fruit quickly grew, and soon that brought a whole new labor force to the islands. In 1880s, John Kidwell began farming what was the smooth cayenne varietal, and in 1899, James Dole appears on the scene to open his giant plantation and cannery and become Hawaii's pineapple king. Of course, pineapple makes its way to the Millhouse kitchen. We use it often in different desserts, and recently we've been using it as a glaze for our pork belly, which is then put with a soft egg, barley, and pickled ogo. You can find pineapple in several drinks at the Millhouse bar. One of the easiest ways to sip on it is with the plantation sweet tea. You can also find it in our Easy Rider cocktail with Knob Creek bourbon, pineapple, lemon, liliquoi, and macadamia nut. And the most popular way to experience pineapple at the Millhouse restaurant is in the final punch with Kaloa white rum, pineapple, orange, banana, mango, served in a pineapple shaped glass. An interesting thing about pineapples is that they actually don't ripen after picking. Although they do change color from green to yellow, the fruit on the inside is not really changing or sweetening. Pineapples are best enjoyed as soon as you can after picking, but picking at optimal ripeness. Which means the best way to have a pineapple is soon after it's been picked here on Maui.